Auto Line on the Road from CES is brought to you by Mitsubishi Electric. Make the move to mobility. Magna, science fiction thinking, automotive reality. And by Bosch, invented for life. Alfonso Labai says the Senior Vice President of Design at Nissan. He's got the IMX concept car here on the floor of CES. And Alfonso, take it from there and let's start with the interior since we have the doors open. Great. So one of the things we're highlighting here is the new platform. So, you know, we're on a second generation LEAF, number one selling EV, very happy about that. And now we're starting to increase the family. So we're going crossover. And, uh, but we're also showing the new, the benefits of our new package. So now, of course, the batteries are all contained within the floor. It's around 150, 60 or 70 millimeters. Uh, but the big thing that we've done is that we started to consider in a flat floor condition, how far can we go? So we've taken a lot of the guts that are normally in an instrument panel and we've moved those into the front. Uh, the Which front you can panel. do with an electronic or electric Not, powertrain, right? Nothing's there. there. Yeah. And so what this has given us is this almost zen feeling to this interior. And uh, also we've started using the technologies in the sense that the windshield with an SUV, of course, it has a high hood and a high posture. Sometimes you cannot see things that are up close. So we've extended the windshield down uh, below the cowl and it has all digital displays, 180 degrees. So the display almost comes to the B pillar. This allows us to show the virtual road. So in those instances in Detroit or in the snow belt, when you cannot see the road, the screen actually, because of the connected city, actually shows the road under the snow. I, I want to emphasize that point because I think that's brilliant. Even if the snow completely covers the road, yes. as you look out over the screen, you'll see the road perfectly. Perfectly, yes. On the screen right below the real scene. And it feels like part of the real scene. And it actually gives you this augmented or purified condition of reality. Mm -hmm. And then also we use our aesthetics. So the wood, which is recycled wood, so it's uh, powdered and reformed. And that's all this part with the, the lines yes. running through. And it. so we use the, the we use the, the grain as a metaphor, and we actually put digital displays inside. So with Stitch technology, all the cameras around the car, you can see everything that's happening. So on the other side, you're seeing people walking by the car. So Alfonso, why? Uh, meaning when you're parked in a tight condition and you cannot see maybe a pole is there or a child is there, because the belt is so high, you see the object in the door panel and you can take care. It gives you an, an augmented sense of your surroundings. Without having to have a video screen there to display yeah. it. Yeah, because you can get a little too much of that. So one of the feelings we have as designers is, okay, what's after the screen? You know, how can we make those screens more organic? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's put it into autonomous mode here yeah. because uh, I want to show uh, how everything folds into place, the steering wheel folding up into yeah. the dashboard, the pedals retract. I love the pedals, by the way, too. Yeah. That's a really nice touch. So one of the things in the discovering in our mock-up is when we get into the kind of uh, autonomous mode, where you put your feet, you're always looking for, you know, you're crossing your legs, you're in a more comfortable position, but it's sometimes it's always nice to have some place to rest your feet, but you don't want to touch the pedals or the brakes because it'll disengage autopilot. So uh, basically we retracted it onto a pad and uh, it's become a design feature all by itself. It, it's cool. Let's close the doors and stand yeah. back and look at some of the exterior here as well because what I'm interested in learning about are what's the new form language, the design language? Where are you taking the look of Nissan? So now the door's closing and you can see the, the skin. So now obviously this car is a crossover, so the center of gravity is up. But about the form language we're talking, we're looking for a new kind of simplicity. And it has an expression of also the technology. Because at the end of the day, this is a very powerful EV platform. It has more torque than the GTR. <laughs> wow. This is serious. That's really serious saying serious something. Machine. And uh, so but we also want a sense of agility and effortlessness. So we're using tricks. So not only from an aerodynamic point of view, we want to reduce the frontal mass. So as the wind on its way comes through, normal cars, you have to come around here. On this car, you come around, some of the wind comes through between the tire and the body, and the other wind goes through, and then it gets high pressure inside the wheel opening, is pulled out by this device, so just negative pressure here. 
Also, we start using negative surfaces to help guide the wind through the car. Some of the wind comes over and through here. Other wind comes out on the outside. But all of it is always with a trailing sharp edge. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, as you know very well, the wind doesn't like round. No, here no, you want a clean so, separation point. So this is how to make a clean separation and still have a lot of style. Well, Afonso, I know we've only barely scratched the surface of what this car is all about, but thanks so much for this overview. Very interesting what you're doing. Here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Always a pleasure. See you soon. Yes. At Magna, we take the word impossible as a challenge. Whether it's autonomy, electrification, new mobility, or beyond, we make the impossible possible every day. Magna, science fiction thinking, automotive reality. Visit us in Las Vegas at CES.